Hey guys, Candace Daly here from CLD Art Studio and Blog. We're in a new location today in my house. As you can see, we've got the mantle behind me, so we're in my living room area today. And since we're in a new location, I thought I would bring my trusty sidekick, Molly, to help me out. Can you say hi, everybody, Molly? Can you say hi? And she's even got her Halloween scarf on, too. So I thought my baby could come and help me today. Um, so she's gonna sit here with me on her little ottoman and be my trusty sidekick. You'll probably hear her barking though from time to time. Some of the neighbor neighborhood dogs are kind of hanging out today, so she's trying to watch them and um, bark at them. So um, you may hear her whining too or whimpering. So, um, but anyway, so I'm gonna be showing you today um, how to make these really cool spooky um wreaths right here behind me on my mantle and i thought since we've got some like skulls going on and all that i would dress for the occasion so i have my skull shirt on and i've got like this like halloween like biker vibes going on today or something so but i actually got this um shirt from walmart for for seven dollars and 88 cents so can't beat that um and i got it this halloween too so um but i thought i would wear it for today's video and i'm loving how we've kind of turned into fall in the last few days so now like i can wear my coats and jackets and all of those cool cover-ups so we're going to be working on these wreaths today um, and I actually made these or fixed these back probably in June or July. I actually purchased the wreath forms from Dollar Tree right after Christmas. So like the actual like wreaths. So they were Christmas wreaths and I got them right after Christmas when they had the half off sale for, um, they were literally like 50 cents. And then I also purchased garland um, to go in them as well um, for 50 cents to just use as a filler. So and I'll kind of like give you all the full effect and kind of get out of the way a little bit so you all can see them. And I knew I always wanted some wreaths to go on these shutters because I felt like it just needed something for each holiday. So these are actually some Christmas wreaths that I'm working on right now, but that's how these wreaths looked before. Um, obviously they weren't silver, but they were green before without anything on them. Um, and then what I did was I just filled them in with the green garland and just wrapped them in the areas where they needed some love and attention and it just kind of looked bare and sparse. So I filled those in. Okay, so they were the green wreaths and then I put the green garland in and these were from Dollar Tree like I said the garland and the wreaths and so then I spray painted those this one obviously is silver these are going to be some Christmas ones that I'm working on but just for today's purpose to kind of show you just the form without any bows or anything like that on it um but I spray painted them and I first did them with this primer now this is the gray but the primer is the same um except it's black and it's like a matte color and it's rust-oleum brand and it's just a black matte primer um if you were doing something silver you would use this gray as a primer to cover up that green but i used the black primer to cover that green up i sprayed the front and the back and then just went back in any other areas that i saw where the green was peeking out and the way I just attached that green garland in, in those areas, and I can kind of even kind of show you right here, it, it's movable, that green garland that I put in there. It's pretty flexible and almost wire-like, so it's really easy to attach it to that main wire form, okay? That main wire form that's in your wreath. So you can just kind, kind of like form it around that wire form and it'll stick to it pretty well. If you wanted to add some like floral wire or um, pipe cleaners, you could do that as well if you felt like it wasn't really um, on there very well, you could do that as well. Um, so you will spray that with that black matte primer, okay? A front and back, let that dry. And then I came back with like a metallic color. It's the Rust-Oleum and it's black metallic. I just wanted a little bit more sparkle rather than 
just like a dull color okay so then i sprayed the front back just any other sides or anything that was like peeking out that i saw green so that is how i got that black color on those now like i said i went to dollar tree a few days after christmas and got the garland and the wreaths for 50 cents but right now they have the wreaths and the garland for a dollar right now so you could still go and get those if you didn't want to wait till after christmas um they also have different sizes of wreaths i believe these might be i can't remember like an 18 inch i want to say i can't remember there's different sizes though there's one that's a little bit smaller than that so you have some different size options if you're wanting something on a smaller scale so once I got those painted, I decided that I also wanted to jazz it up a little bit. And I had some leftover black garland from when we did our um, glam little banner that we did with like the skull cutout spider cutouts and the bats. I don't know if you remember those or not, but I had leftover from this. So I thought I'm just going to use those as a wreath filler to kind of just give it some sparkle sticking out behind it. And basically, and I'll just show you with my silver one, the Christmas one that I'm working on. I just like kind of, and th this is wired too. So it's very pliable and it's very easy to just attach it to your wreath form. Okay. So what you'll do is I just kind of always like start from the back. I put it in the front and then kind of just wire it to the back and tuck it in. And then I just kind of, you can either do it in and loop it through or you can kind of just do it like that as well and work it through and sorry that some of my christmas tinsel is sticking okay so you can just kind of work it in like that do it whichever way that it works for you best um sometimes i'll end up putting it in like that I, that seems to kind of work best for me and just looping it through okay back and forth back and forth looping it through where you need to Sorry, my Christmas. Okay. Just to kind of jazz it up. And then you can also kind of still play around with it and move it around, around your limbs and put it where you feel like it needs that extra touch or sparkle. Okay. So, and that's some of the Halloween garland from Dollar Tree as well. Pretty much everything on that wreath up there is from Dollar Tree other than my ribbon. So everything is from Dollar Tree there. Now, the skull that is in the middle of it, I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Um, but for the orange, as you can see, that's up on it. And I'm actually going to take one of these down, so bear with me in case I'm not going to do that. Um, but the little crows that you see up on top, too, are from Dollar Tree. And I just think they're so, so cute. All right, so here we go. Let me get the little bird down first. So yeah, the little bird is from Dollar Tree too, and I just set him up in there. I thought he was so cute just to kind of give it some height and a spooky type element. But here the wreath is kind of up close where you can see it. So the orange pieces are actually just pipe cleaner. And what I did for that, and you can attach it this way as well. I just kind of did it around my fingers like this. Okay, and the parts that I want to be smaller, I put closer up to the point or to the tip of my finger, okay? The parts that I want to be smaller, but then the parts that like I want to be bigger, you'll start it down at the bigger part of your finger. So you got it? So really, it probably needs to be the opposite. You need to start out with the big portion first and then whatever you want to be small, you can go to the tip of your finger. And then you'll just like slide it off, if I can get it off. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We're all tangled up here. She's growling at something. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I'll show you all again. We got all tangled. Okay, so start from the base part of your finger, work all the way up, and the parts that you want bigger are closer to the base part of your finger. I didn't do it so tight this time. All right, so see, you can see how that was the base part of my finger and then working my way up to the tip, okay? So then I just kind of like spread it out like that and then 
I did several of them that way. And then I just attached them to each little limb, just wrapping it around like the limbs and then like just tucking them under and then they're like secure like that. You just like tuck it like behind it. Okay. And then you can just work them all the way through the way you want them. And I thought that the orange really showed up nice on the black. And then you can see that there's like these little like spiders with gems on them. See those? And there's another one too. It's more of like an amber, orange color. Okay. Those are just like the little spider rings. And then I just slid them on the branches. Okay. So they've got the little ring part and then you just like slide them on there. Okay. And then... Um, and the pipe cleaners and the rings were also from Dollar Tree. And then the skull part. I just love him. I think he's so, like, glam looking, but then so spooky at the same time. So, this is how it looked before. It was actually in a frame, and this was from Dollar Tree. Here was the frame. I thought it was a little bulky for my mantle, so I just, like, they're in there just kind of just glued, but I just popped the picture out like that okay and then here's your existing frame and I actually used this frame um for another little spooky thing in my house and I left it black but I'm gonna give you another idea for this too in a minute this is like all kinds of ideas heaped up in one video so here's your scary looking picture okay with your skull on it and what I did and I'll show you this one I won't unattach it or anything like that but what I did was I just took the back of the skull picture and I glued a pipe cleaner to that and then allowed it to be suspended in my wreath. And then I took that part of that pipe cleaner that's up here and just wrapped it around my wreath depending on the length of how much I wanted my skull picture to hang down, okay? So that was just pretty simple, just gluing it on the back of it with the pipe cleaner and then wrapping it around that. So I thought that that just really added just kind of like a different element. And then I did make um, just like a pipe cleaner hook on the back. I don't know if y'all can see that very good or not. See it? Just made like a little circle. Okay, weaved it in there, fastened it like that, just wrapped it around and then made that circle. And then I just always end up attaching that circle to this like part of the shutter that like moves up and down, okay? And then once I had my wreath up there, I then added my cool little bird in there from Dollar Tree to give it that spooky element. And the ribbon is from Sam's. I got it several years ago around Christmas time. I thought it was really cool. So, the other thing I was going to show you with that leftover frame, I love to picture collage in my house, and really ornate frames like this are very expensive. So, I thought, you know what, I'm going to repurpose this frame so it doesn't go to waste, and so I'm actually going to do picture collages with these, and I spray painted this one silver, a metallic silver, and I'm going to picture collage with these, um, and I just thing like these just look so expensive now and I'm like I'm so happy that I got these so then that way I can have multi-uses so um I think these would be pretty spray painted gold too so um but anyway so everything is pretty much from Dollar Tree that um is involved in making these wreaths and it's very simple to do um, it's also very inexpensive, and if you just want to, you know, jazz up your mantle or your door or anything like that, um, this is just a really inexpensive way to do it and a fun way. Get your family involved to do this as well. I plan on making some Christmas wreaths as well. That's why I had this silver one in here. It was just a silver mat I did and then some metallic silver, and then I'm going to weave some garland in. And I'll show you all one of those later, but I was just kind of trying to show you a bare wreath form today to kind of get you an idea since I didn't have any plain green ones to work with. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video today. I hope this is something that maybe inspires you for your home. But look at what a difference without the wreath on this shutter in comparison to that. Like, 
looks like it's missing something. So, um, I love my wreaths. I think it just kind of jazzes up my mantle. It gives it that spooky element, that fun element. Um, and so I hope this is something you can do with your family or your friends. Um, and just an inexpensive craft and inexpensive decor that, um, you can do to jazz up your home. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just shoot me a message or comment. And also, if you all are interested in signing up for art lessons, just let me know about that as well. I would love to work with you all for art lessons or craft nights or painting nights, anything like that. Um, just send me a message and let me know. Um, I hope that you all have enjoyed this today, and I hope that you get out there and craft with your family. And um, I hope that you all are getting your house and everything all ready for Halloween and for the upcoming holiday. It's exciting times right now during the fall. So thank you all for tuning in and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thanks guys. Bye.